So <laughs> here with the second group of the Hunger Games, can you guys introduce yourselves? Let everyone know what characters you play in the movie. I am Alexander Ludwig, and I'm playing Kato. Okay. I'm Jennifer Lawrence. I play Katniss. And I'm Amanda Stenberg, and I play Rue. Okay, so I work for obviously a local radio station. So what kind of music are you guys? Is there like a favorite artist or song you're listening to right now on your iPod or anything? I think Chili Peppers always kind of just get me. Their tickets just went on sale for here a show here in town. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh damn. So people are excited about it. That's sick. I love uh, Mumford and Sons Black Keys. Oh yeah. Oh Black yeah. Keys, that's mine. Yeah. I want to yeah, take, I take both Keys. of those. Yeah, too. I have a quite an eclectic <laughs> mix. I think I I like the Black Keys too, as well as like Kanye West and then the Beatles and then Vampire Weekend. Oh yeah, yeah you do favorite. then. Yeah. Very good. Um, okay, people have asked you about who would actually win and who's your favorite character in the book and everything. So, I mean, in the real world real you guys as real people who would actually win who has the most skill and could take down somebody in the Hunger Games out of us three yeah do you think who would win of you three Amanda I mean you couldn't probably you <laughs> yeah, yeah. she would adorable people yeah oh, that <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't do anything to her because she's too cute <laughs> yeah exactly gotcha okay and who is other than your own character who is your favorite character in the books I think Effie Effie she's just like kind of a relief from everything else just this Hilarious, creepy, like weird, <laughs> like completely in another, like the way that she's brought into the book is just so polar opposite. It's like almost refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'd probably say either Clove, because I really think it's really cool how she can throw knives. And then also <clears throat> Cinna, because I really love Cinna. I think he's kind of like a breath of fresh air for Katniss yeah. because he's the only one that really understands her. Mm hmm. Real. I'd have to go through, yeah. Oh, oh, man. Through. Nobody, Nobody ever goes everything. for Katniss. I know. <laughs> the other group, they were they were Team Katniss, just so you know. Okay, thank God. When I asked Team yeah. Peter or Team Gale, they went, they went Katniss. Okay. So, um, and obviously, it's such a good character. I finished the first book this past weekend, which I know, Welcome to 2009, right? <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's such a, she's such a good character. It's a lot of pressure for you. And you see these females and these great roles that are going to have a trillion female fans looking up to you. It's a lot of pressure to be a role model, but then you see the other ones, other girls who have done this, and they're like, I didn't sign up to be a role model. I signed up for this movie, and they're smoking on their doorstep the next weekend, and paparazzi's taking pictures. I mean, do you plan on taking on that role, or is it kind of the same thing where it's like, I signed up to be Katniss, not to be a role model for young girls everywhere? I mean, I'm an actress. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a role model, but I have become one by default. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of. It, it did come with the territory, and it is something I'm aware of, and and something to to respect, um, and to take into account that what I wear, what I say, and what I do doesn't only affect me anymore. It, it affects other people as well. So it's not something that I signed on to, and, and I'm now introducing myself as an actress and a role model. But it's just one of it, it's 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 happened. Well, I think you're doing a good job already. I mean, I read some right. interviews with you, and I mean, everyone's gonna love you immediately because you're beautiful and you're confident, but you <laughs> don't just eat salads. I mean, you. I love the fact that you're like, I'm not gonna diet. I'll exercise, of course, but I'm not gonna go on these strict diets. And no, I hate dieting. And so <laughs> I think that's fantastic. I mean, obviously you should eat healthy. I'm not recommending that, but just eating cheeseburgers and fries. But um, Alexander, I have to ask if you're single because every female wants to know. <laughs> I am single. Yeah. You are single. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys single? Ask the whole cast. No, I have like 20 boyfriends. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, we're not. Okay, sorry. I'm excited. To, have you guys seen the movie yet? Yes. Yeah. You have. So what is your favorite scene? Like, what do you think the fans are going to be most excited about to see in the movie? Like, the most exciting scene or the one that came together the best, do you think? I loved, um, I think the dynamic between the um, Katniss and Rue in the movie is just phenomenal, as well, obviously, as in the books. And I think the fans are just going to, just get rocked by that one scene. Uh, Rue's Rue's death scene is just you know when I saw the film, I, it, it, words just can't describe it. It is an incredibly emotional and touching scene. Mm -hmm. You guys killed that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Is that your favorite scene as well? I don't know if I really. I mean, I don't think there was like one specific. I think just because I was a fan of the books and when I when I watched it, like the the main thing that hit me was that I was so. Kind of, I was so happy that I wasn't the entire time going. When well, they changed that, they flipped that, they uh -huh. took that out. Like, it was just kind of it all came together in a very smooth way, so that you don't notice. Like, obviously things have to change. You're making a movie, uh -huh. um, but you don't you don't notice them. That was what made me happiest. I think my favorite parts uh, were probably seeing the Capitol for the first time, just because those shots completely blew me away. 
because it was completely what I had envisioned in my mind and even better. And I also, I loved seeing the cornucopia scene just because it was a complete thrill. And it was terrifying but exciting in a weird kind of <laughs> sick way. But yeah. still, I really loved it. Okay, thank you guys so much. I thank appreciate you. it.